which has been set aside by the United Nations to focus attention on the urgency and importance of population issues. Population Day was established by the then Governing Council of the United Nations Development Program in 1989, an outgrowth of the interest generated by the Day of Five Billion, which was observed on 11th July 1987. Now, by resolution in 1990, the United Nations General Assembly decided to continue observing World Population Day to enhance awareness of population issues, including their relations to the environment and development. This year's theme is family planning, empowering people and developing nations. And just to tell us more on this very important day, we're now joined live by reporter Caroline B from our IDM studios. Now, Caroline, a very good afternoon, and it seems we are still growing by numbers. Well, good afternoon to you, Yusuf. Today is World Population Day, as you've rightly put it, and uh, it is being marked globally. And here in Kenya, we were looking at family planning and how, as a developing nation, we can be able to access planning, um, family planning-related uh, services. And if you look at the current demographics that we have in Kenya, we have a population of 46 million people. That was as of 2015 from uh, statistics from the United Nations. Uh, we are looking at uh, youth between the ages of 15 to 19 they have already started having children but this youth do not have access to family planning or if at all they do then they are not sure or they do not have adequate information on how they can be able to access uh, the right family planning services first of all when they head to health facilities to be able to access the services they have the fear of judgment uh, simply because they are afraid to explain themselves Another issue is what I've said, uh, uh, lack of enough knowledge. And one of the issues that was being talked today is to be, is, 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 was a call to the Kenyan government to be able to educate children, mostly girls, because uh, at the end of the day, they are the ones who get pregnant. Um, and this leads to child mortality. If at all, they get pregnant and it leads to deaths. So if at all, there will be enough education for these girls then uh, we shall be having uh, low uh, mortality rates in the country and there will be safe, uh, also safe deliveries uh, by these girls. Another thing that actually affects the youth when it comes to all, all these issues is, is the one uh, concerning HIV AIDS. Uh, you find that uh, 15, to 15 to 29 years of age are actually sexually active. And as I've stated, it, they are not sure on how to access uh, this family planning issues. So it was a call on the Kenyan government to come out and be able to help this young population to be able to access family planning services. And it's not only the young population, uh, it also involves the adults as well to be able to pass information to, the young, to their young ones on how they can be able to access these services. As you know, the Kenyan population, 46 million, I have said, the highest population is that of India and that of China. And what I actually said in the morning, I was having a talk with the Akisa, is that if at all Facebook was a country, then it would be the most, it would be the third most uh, populous, um, populous nation in the world. And the United Nations thought it fit that it would come out and be able to talk to their population and also the global citizens on how it is good to have, uh, on, on, how, on how good it is to be able to develop their populations and uh, inform the public on the importance of, ha of having an even population. And if you also look at the global countries, Latin America and Asia are some of uh, the continents that um, have scaled up access to family planning, but sub-Saharan -sub Africa still has an even uh, rating on, on accessing this family planning services. Yusuf? Clearly, sub-Saharan Africa is, of course, it's an area that people are still growing in big numbers. You've already mentioned that Kenya has a population about, of about 46 million. What I've not heard clearly is the world's population and perhaps what is the project, projection like in the next perhaps five or ten years? Well, since we've talked about uh, the sub-Saharan Africa, which is still very even in accessing family planning issues, and it was a call to the government to be able to provide education to its population. So come the next five years, um, hopefully Kenya will have reduced its, um, its death mortality and also the population that we are currently having. It is, it is a problem of lack of information or adequate information for that matter that uh, young girls or actually the youth engage in uh, sexual behavior without having the right sexual uh, reproductive health information and therefore come the next five years the government is looking forward to be able to scale this um to, to scale down this uh issues concerning pregnancy teenage pregnancies among the youth yusuf
Thanks, Caroline B, for that informative update there on the wild population. Uh, Dave, for now, uh, let's... Uh, Crossover to sports and uh, Wayne Rooney said uh, a desire to continue playing for England.